Hello everyone, I'm Claire North and I want to welcome you to the reading of the community poem done through Manchester Community Library and in conjunction with the Poetry Salon for 2021. Every year for the past five or six years, we do a community poem. And the way that's structured is we get a theme and then I will make a first line and everybody else builds on it line to line. People build on the line that has come before theirs. And this year, our theme was mirrors and portals because we missed so much programming last year and programming for Poetry Month because we had just gone into lockdown. So it was a great theme for this year. Like what kind of mirrors are we looking in? How have we changed? What kind of portals have we, have we stepped through and journeyed through? So here we are, mirrors and portals. The mirror was the portal. The global tide pushed me through it and I shattered and sharded into a new galaxy. I had arrived into the unfamiliar, unsure, bathed in a new light of revitalization. For now, as in Corinthians, we see through a glass darkly, known even as we are known. And I became myself many times over. Likewise were the opportunities that abounded. From these boughs, sweet flowers flowing, fragile flowers, pink and white, amid the darkness of the night. Floating into the stars, I was released from my earthly weight. And now we spin with yellows, whites, and oranges, mottling of life stages, and some communal enrichment. Mirrors ahead and mirrors behind, was the future bound to be the past? Confused, I hesitated and then embraced the chance. Through my portal, I became aware of the passage of time when I glanced into my mirror and was startled. In my mirror, life's fragility. Out my window, April's renaissance. Careful stepping stones through sooty fog into golden, warm, new, what? Exactly what? No longer just composing thoughts, I will write them. To be sure, there was a faint smile on my face. Corners of my mouth were turned up. I knew where I was. And through the shards of glass, I stepped into a beautiful green place, virus-free, worry-free. And thank you for these lines to Mary Pisaniello, Mary Scriber, Reg Jones, Mary Butera, Glenn Gunther, Sydney Stanton Jr., Ray, Sharon Cropa, Barbara Powers, Alice Gilborn, Lucy Norman, Anne Graham, Robert Collins, and Annette Sabatino. And we want to apologize. The ends of some of the lines did get lost in transmission. So we had to do a bit of creative editing. And we ask for your forgiveness for your creative effort. And also, as always, for your patience. So once again, thank you all so much for your generous contributions and for the beauty and the joy of the community poem.